everybody, Wild Boy here. Welcome back to another video now. I know I've been doing a shit ton of videos on my Comic Con hauls and experiences and stuff like that, but I wanted to go into a little more video detail about my Comic Con wall. As you can see, when I first rearranged my room, I put the green screen right where everything was, but since I have so much stuff from Comic Con, I decided to take down the green screen and make a wall dedicated to my Comic Con stuff, which is right there behind me. And I wanted to go into video uh, more detailed uh, stuff and meeting the celebrities and posters and stuff like that. So I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to go to uh, check out the wall. So let's go over there. Okay, so I am standing on the far side of the room and this is pretty much a glyph of the Comic Con wall I have. So we're going to start with the very first Comic Con I went to down here. And this is the Northwest Arkansas Comic Con, January 14th and January 15th, 2023 at the Rogers Convention Center in Rogers, Arkansas. This was the list of who was there. Uh, this was my very first Comic Con, so I did meet the three The three people I want to meet are on the top, which is Charles Martinet, John Heater, and Billy West. I did attend Veronica Taylor's Q&A, but she's not on this thing for some reason. Or there, I'm overlooking it. Uh, I, did, I am watching the anime that Eric Val is in called How Does Not Summon a Demon Lord. It also has Jade Saxon, but I didn't know that until a year later. Uh, a couple of these people know Jamie Marchi, who I want to meet, like James Michael Tatum and Eric Value and Caitlin Glass on the Comic Con wall, uh, the Missouri one. And then, so yeah, I met Charles Martin, Adrian John Heater, and Billy West, all super, super wonderful people. And then we're going to go to the Missouri Comic Con wall. I did not get a post picture flyer for Northwest Arkansas Comic Con for some reason. I didn't even think about it. But this is the Missouri Comic Con of this year, February 10th and 11th, uh, 2024, at the Springfield Ex uh, Expo Center in Springfield, Missouri. I did meet Sam, uh, Steve Burns, I did meet Gray Dalal, I did attend Billy West's and Caitlin Glass's Q&A, uh, Q but did not meet him personally. Uh, this is a really great lineup, actually. So, And I'm going to attend the Oklahoma Comic Con in August, which has already got four people there, and I got a good lineup. You got Tom Kenny, Gray Dalal, and Jim Cummings, who's going to be there, so i got to save a lot of money. And then we'll get to the autographs in a minute, but I wanted to talk about this big Miku wall scroll. Now, I got this at Missouri Comic Con, and I saw this, and I fell in love with it. As you can tell, it's probably Cricket because, uh, I don't know, uh, we hanged it up, so I may have to redecorate it and everything. But this is the wall Mika poster. I found it at the on the showroom floor at the Expo Center, and I asked the guy, how much is it? Well, they're Ross Crows, well, they were about 30 to 35, uh, 30 to 45 dollars, but this one in particular was 75 dollars. I kind of heaved and hauled about it for a little bit, so I called my mom and dad and asked him. My mom's like, talk to your dad, see what he says. And I told him, ask my dad. He goes, well, it's your money. You wait, you got your money from a job. You earned your money. Uh, buy whatever you want, and I won't judge you. So I said, all right. So I finally caved in, and I bought the wall scroll. I've been looking for wall scrolls for a while, and uh, finally got one. The guy who was running it was very, very uh, nice guys. So a big $75 wall scroll Miko poster that I finally got. Uh, you can see it's cricket, but I may, but it still fits. Got a couple of dudes in there, but it's all right. Now we're gonna go to the wall of autographs. So one thing I do have that's not on the wall is my copy of Super, Ma Super Mario 64 signed by Charles Martinet. So I didn't even think about getting a poster. That was the first thing that came to mind. So let's get on to the first picture autograph. And that is John Heater's as Napoleon Dynamite. John Heater's a very, very funny and nice guy. Uh, when I went up to his book, he did a very long size Napoleon. He was a very nice guy. And I told him my favorite part of the movie, and he laughed and said that was funny. So very, very nice guy. I got a picture with him. I'm also going to um, print out pictures that I have on Facebook with Great Lyle and Charles Martinet and John Heater and put them on the wall on that empty spot right over there. So that is the autograph from John Heater. And then the second person I got, or the third person I met was Billy West who plays Fry for Futurama. As you can see, there's a little bit of a glare there, but it says, shut up and take my money, sound my Billy West, and it has my name and everything. Very, very sweet guy who's also on the spectrum. So, but he's very nice. And then we scroll over a year later to the Northwest Arkansas 2024, and I got an autograph from Courage the Cowley Dog himself, Marty Gross. You know, my God, this guy absolutely is nothing like Courage. He has so much confidence and a great sense of humor and a very, very, uh, very nice guy. He has a son who was on the autism spectrum, so he understands how it's like. So when I told him about me being on the spectrum and everything, very, very nice guy. His Q&A was the very first one of the day. And I feel bad because there's not many people there at his Q&A, probably because it was the first one of the day and everything. So, but very, very kind guy. And then the second autograph I got from there was Rob Paulson's. It was best known for Yakko and Annie Maniacs, Raphael and the 1987 Ninja Turtles and Donnie in the 2012 version. Of course, I'm a huge fan of Yakko. 
So I got an autograph to say hello, Colton. Very, very kind guy. I told him about my story with depression and having autism on top of it and inspiring me or his cancer story uh, book called Finding Voice Lessons or Finding Voices or something like that. Basically, he talks about his career as a voice actor and his journey through stage three throat cancer, which he had, which he had beaten. And, you know, I told him and he said, and he said, it's amazing how much, um, how much, how many, how many cartoon characters can make an impact on your life. And he, th he did thank me to send him in his weekend. So very, very kind guy. And those were the two ones I got from uh, Northwest Arkansas Comic Con. And then the first one I got of the day of Missouri Comic Con was Steve Burns. The best note from Blue's Clues is I know when the doors opened at 10 o'clock, I went straight to his booth because I knew it was going to be a very, very long line. He was right, sitting right next to Sean Aston, which by 10.30, his line was already out the door, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, Steve Burns was a very, very kind guy. I told him how much Blue's Clues means to me and everything, and he says he never gets tired of hearing that and thanks to me, so very nice guy. And over here is my picture with Steve Burns from the professional photo op, very, very nice guy. I think my mom said he, she read somewhere that Steve Burns has not social anxiety issues, but doesn't like to touch because somebody did ask him for a hug and he said that, you know, his uh, person would not let him if he would, he could, so, but very, very kind guy. And then I got an autograph from Gray Delisle. Uh, I thought about getting a Frankie poster, a uh, flyer autograph from Foster Show Brain Edge Refresh Refresh, she played Frankie Foster Show Brain Edge Your Friends, but I didn't find one that piqued my interest but as soon as I saw the puff high high puppy on Yumi picture, I said, I gotta get that. So, and when I went to her booth, she hugged me and she saw the picture and she did a reunion with Ami's voice actor, James Kawaii. Uh, they had a, and she said it was Adam Pasadena and the person who plays Kaz. Uh, also that was there for a reunion, so very, very cool. I know Janice Kawaii who plays Yumi and Jenny from My Life as a Teenage Robot. I'm sorry, Ami. Uh, she does, I am I read somewhere that she does not go to a lot of conventions that often. I don't know why, maybe because of social anxiety and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to get that. It was very cool. And then I got this one last minute, but it was an autograph from Scott Imes, who plays Shaggy and Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost, which is my favorite Scooby-Doo movie. I know a lot of people say um, Zombie Island is their favorite Scooby-Doo movie, but personally, my personal favorite is um, Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost. And we all know why. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's pretty much it. That wall uh, that covers the wall. So there you go. So yeah, I got a pretty big wall of stuff. Luckily, I took down my green screen because I have posters and stuff all over my freaking room that I needed to make some room. And uh, so yeah, uh, hopefully, and when I go to Oklahoma Comic Con, which I'm probably gonna go for Saturday, uh, I have enough room for another autograph from Grant Lyle or Tom Kenny and uh, Jim Cummings, which it's still early enough to bring more guests. I'm hoping they'll bring some high school DXD character uh, actors who play them. Uh, I did meet, not meet, but I did attend Caitlin Glass's uh, Q&A panel because she was in a show that I really watched called, what I really like called Burst Angel. And I told her that, you know, Jim and Marty and Monica be all my favorite uh, anime voice actors. And so I asked her, what was it like, you know, to play with them? You know, she explained that she, they're very nice people, but she didn't record on the boot, boots and she did it alone. And I told her, I want to meet Jamie. I still have not met Jamie, but I do want to show, but I do want to meet her because I have this Rita's Rumor tattoo. She laughed and she actually said, and Caitlin laughed herself, she actually said that the tattoo looked really, really good. So she said, if I ever meet Jamie, Jamie would love it. So hopefully, I see, I've met, I've been to a couple, the, I met a couple people who were running vendors and booths at the Comic Con Northwest Arkansas in Missouri. I've said, I think I met two or three people who were running booths from where I got the uh, Akino Cup and the Jamie and the Rias poster right there. I think both of them said that they have met Jamie herself, and but both of them said that she's a very nice lady. And so hopefully, if I ever meet Jamie, she would be a really awesome experience, you know. Though, so but anyway, we're gonna talk about that in another video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If we did, give it a thumbs up. Check out my social media down below. Thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in the future video. Take it easy.